We're going to start day two, factoring quadratic functions. Basically the same thing as day one, it's just, you know, more work than introduction. So these are going to cover four through seven. So I'm going to get started, page number four. Now, I mentioned this on the previous video where AC is the product. The product of these two values and B, it, you can see it as the sum difference or you can just see it as combined like terms you can see it either way remember it's only difference when one's positive one's negative some when they're both positive or both negative or combined like terms like at the end of the day just put them together that's basically what it means these are basically the notes we, you have your own notes if you want to use my notes or you want to use the notes provided here that's perfectly fine now the way this is going to work out, it's basically the same thing we've done before. Find two factors that can multiply to 6, 6 goes on top, but they add up to 7. Now notice how they're both positives, so we know these two both have to be positive. The two numbers that we're actually looking for are 6 and 1. 6 times 1 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7. So the two factors that we're looking for um, are 6 and 1. That's it. I know it has a lot more wording, but it's same concept, okay? Notice how these two are both negatives. That means that one of them has to be negative, and one of them has to be positive. Now, remember, if you're having trouble, always might write the multiples of 15. So we have 1 times 15, and then we have 3 times 5. And those are our only multiples that we could use. If I use 1 and 15, I can only get negative 14, as one possible answer, where I could get positive 14 because we were technically subtracting these two because we're looking for the difference this time. If we try 5 and 3, it's going to work out. And I want the bigger number to be negative because after we combine them, we have a negative remainder. So we're going to say negative 5, positive 3. So we our two numbers that we're looking for is negative 5 and 3. Now, if you look at example 3, which is provided around the bottom. It doesn't give you the X box because even if you jump to the back side, so all you have to do is do your X, find two factors that can multiply to be negative 56. Now see how it says it stops right here. Find two factors that we can get to negative 56 and then the page gets cut off. At least on mine it does. Now, there's no more information on this side right here. So, let's create numbers that give us 56. If there is, I do not have it. So, we have 1 times 56. Our other choice could also be, I'm trying to come up with somewhat easy number, 2 times 28. We, can, we know it's negative, so 1 has to be positive, 1 has to be negative. We also have, let's come up with another one not too difficult three doesn't work let's 56 I know it's not nine we got eight times seven and we're going to use eight and seven if I make eight the positive one and seven the negative one well if they multiply to this eight minus seven is positive one so our two factors and the way we actually want to write them in if we have the variable x we're going to write this as x plus 8 and x minus 7, where our two factors are 8 and negative 7. We've already done page 3, so I'm moving on to the next page. We're moving on to page 5. There's not too much content on this one right here. We're only going from 4 to 7, but it's mostly the same thing. Oh, look, here's our next one. So they wanted negative 1 which is actually the one we got, except we put a positive eight, so we want negative eight, positive seven, and those are our two values. So we have, we'll say it's x plus seven, x minus eight, see? All you have to do is turn, to, my bad, I'm not even showing you the work. All you have to do is turn to the next page, basically. And same answer, except the reverse from what the scenario we thought of. If you look at example four, same thing. Notice how this is, negative but the positive but this is negative the only possible method to do that is if they're both negatives the only numbers that give us nine is 
one times nine, three times three. But they're also they're both negative. So if these two are negative, negative three, negative three gives us negative six. Negative one, negative nine gives us negative ten. So those are our two answers. The other two are exactly the same thing. Nothing difficult. If you look at example seven, it's the same thing we did for the mass packet. So you all know how to do this, except the only difference is we actually have a leading coefficient of two. So you're gonna do the entire Xbox method. So we're gonna say X box. Some people call it diamond rectangle. It's the same stuff. Two X two. Start putting stuff in this box first because I know sometimes we get kind of confused what goes in here and then we have a three. So our AC, our A, C, we multiply those two. Two and three gives us six. That's our B, so bringing down the seven. It's positive, it's positive, so they both have to be positive and the numbers we're looking for is one and six. Put our one X, six X. Remember, it doesn't matter which box you start off with. Usually I start blocking everything else and do these. Greatest common factor, the GCF is three. Three times what gives us three? Well, that's one. One times what gives us one X? That's just an X. X times what gives us two X squared? Well, that's a two X. Two X times three gives us six X. So our two values here that we're looking for is X plus three. 2x plus 1. I know you won't struggle, just remember you have to do the box method on the right side because our leading coefficient, it's not 1, it, we actually have a number besides 1, which is 2 in this case. If you look at examples 8, 9, 10, and 11, same thing. The only things we want is, you're going to start doing the x box. So we say 5x squared plus 2. I'll start off this one, make sure you start yours. Five times two is 10. And negative seven. We have negative this time, so that means that, and we have positive, that means they're both negatives. Our two numbers, negative five, negative two. Oh, I put two negatives, my bad. So we say negative five x, negative two x. I'll start it off, make sure you finish it. Okay, just looking for those two binomials. So you do the x, the diamond rectangle, Xbox method. We know we have to do the box because we have a co leading coefficient other than one. 9, 10, 11, and 12 are basically the exact same thing, but notice number 11. It's a one of those special cases that's called a difference of squares. And notice example number 10, leading coefficient is one. So you don't even have to do the box method, all you need is the X method. Because the two values you find are gonna be exactly the same, okay? So if I go to page number seven now, which is our last one, look, it's exactly what you've been doing on your packets, easy stuff. You got your problem on the left side, match it to the one on the right side. So all you have to do, and if you notice, all these have a coefficient of one which is going to be very easy to do. All that tells you is you just needed the X method. One times negative 21 is negative 21. Four on the side. What two numbers give you 21 and give you a four? Now, one's negative, one has to be positive. What two numbers multiply to 21? Well, that's going to be seven and three. Positive four, so that means we have a positive seven negative three and seven minus three is four. So our two answers, our, our answer with our two um, binomials is gonna be x plus seven, x minus three. Match them to the right side. x plus seven, x minus three, good. So one is m. Same thing we've done before, one is m. And there you go. Same thing. Nice, easy for our finishing touch. Everything else is, it's all reviewed from what we've done from chapter 11. We'll eventually get into chapter 12, which was the new stuff we're gonna cover. But all this is fundamental. It's like a stepping stone for it, okay? Don't stress about it. Email me if you have questions. I know some of you still haven't turned in the notes from the previous one. Make sure you get those in, okay? I know some of you are were struggling with um, attaching the document or your photo of your notes. 
you can just email me the notes, but try it on Google Classroom and make sure you check the replies. I've been replying to some of you saying your attachment's not going in, okay? Um, some of you are, you know, stressing, please don't. Some of you might have heard of the news for California and everything and its uh, public school system. Email me if you have concerns. I will provide answers as soon as I know them and I'll try to keep you all informed, okay? Be safe out there.